All right, guys, how we doing? We are back with another Rico GR video or Rico GR3 video. I thought I would have gotten more response on my last video. I got great viewership, but I thought I would have got more complaints, more people defending Rico and its crappy plastic wheel on the back of the Rico GR3 and the GR3X. And if they come out with a GR4, it's probably going to have the same crappy plastic wheel. But that was in the last video. We're not going to go through that again. What I'm going to show you is what I replaced, or what I am replacing my Rico GR3 with, that I am much happier with. I am much, 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 much happier with this new replacement. Actually, it's not new. It is new to me. What does that look like to you? Looks like the Rico GR3, doesn't it? It's not. It's the Rico GR. I'm telling you, this thing. I'm happy with it, much happier than I was with the Ricoh GR3. Why? Because A, I picked this up for $325 on eBay, no dust on the sensor, and check it out. No crappy plastic wheel on the back of this. This is what pisses me off about Ricoh. They literally changed something that worked great with the up, down, left, right, dial here, or not dial, but the buttons. These work great. This is an old used camera. It still works great. You know why? Because there's no crappy plastic wheel on the back. That's why it works great. So I uh, sold my Rico GR3 and I bought this awesome Rico GR. One thing that's awesome about it is that it was only 325 bucks. I don't have to treat this with kid gloves. It's not going to fall apart on me. It's, it works great. I love the controls on the back. You might want to check one of those out. Now, let's go into some of the differences between the Ricoh GR and the Ricoh GR3. Of course, the Ricoh GR3 is a much better quality camera regarding the mechanics, the technology in the camera. No problem with that. It's just the way they put that wheel on the back that pissed me off. But I used it for a lot of things, which is why it went bad quickly. So now I know that this is not going to go bad. And if it does, I'll spend another 325 bucks and I would have a second Rico GR and I would have only spent maybe 650 versus 900 or a thousand dollars for a camera that I know is going to screw up. So, um, but what makes this, um, uh, less quality than the Rico GR three? Well, a couple things. This does not have IBIS. I've done some videos. Uh, using the IBIS, utilizing the IBIS at night or dusk, and it works great for that. You can't do that with this. Um, you can, you'll get more noise because there is no IBIS in it. I don't really shoot night photography though. I did it for the videos, but that was because of the videos. I don't normally go out and shoot night photography, so that's not a problem really. This is for street photography. Now, I, I did take some photos. Uh, I didn't get out in the street because it's literally like, I think, 10 degrees out today, and I'm not that dedicated. So I did get out the day I got this the other day and took some photos and was very happy with the clarity. These were not run through any sort of sharpener or anything like that. These were run through Lightroom like I do all my photos. So I sharpened as I normally would and, and the same way I would the Ricoh GR3. So I'm very happy with the quality of these photos. Now, this is a 16.2 megapixel camera, not a 24 megapixel camera. Doesn't bother me. I'm not going for beauty. I'm not going for photos I can blow up, you know, 24 by 36 or what have you. I mainly post social media. I do have some books I printed. I'm going to make a video on those and got some great quality out of this. Now, the other difference is this does have the pop-up flash. Well, let me, let me, let me turn it on here and I'll uh, take a photo. Well, maybe I'll take a photo. There we go. I took a photo. Okay. So, uh, a lot of people say, who cares? Don't use the flash. I don't know that I would ever use the flash. It kind of makes up for the IBIS, but technically, uh, the IBIS is better than having a flash, but if you need the flash, it's there and you can use it. No problem. Now, one of the other things that makes the Ricoh GR3 better then the Ricoh GR, is, or Ricoh GR2, is that the GR3 and the 3X do have face detection. Those are things that are very nice, and they'll probably upgrade that, have dog or pet face detection, things like that. Those are fantastic, and those are good. You can certainly utilize those. I don't poo-poo those at all. Those are nice features, but I don't need all that, really. And something like face detect is very valuable but is not necessary. So you can get by without it. 
especially if you're using snap focus, that sort of thing. It, it, face detection is irrelevant. Now, both of these cameras have video. Both of these cameras have video that sucks. It sucks bad. And honestly, the only difference in the video between the two cameras, both do, what, what is that, 1920 by 1280, something like that. I should know that. I'm not, but uh, both do the same. Uh, the, they both do 30 frames per second. The Ricoh GR3 does 24 frames per second. This, I think, oh, I'm sorry, the Ricoh GR3 does 24 and 60 frames per second. This does not do 60 frames per second. I don't shoot video, so who cares? Honestly, I just ran through five, six, seven, eight different things that um, you'll find perhaps different in the GR versus the GR3, none of them bother me at all. And again, you, you get a lot of the same functions on the back. I don't know what you can see on there. You see my hand over the lens there. Hey, there's me. Um, you know, I don't know how well you can see all this or whatever, but again, right here, that's the key. Right there is the key. No crappy wheel. You get up, up, down, left, right, right, left, right, whatever. Your left, my right. And uh, that works fantastic in the menu. You don't get touch, you don't get the touch screen. That's the other big, huge thing. With the Ricoh GR3, that's huge. A lot of people like to do their street photography with the touch screen. Um, you can be walking by and just bam, bam. Or you can be like, what's wrong with my camera? Taking pictures of people. That is, that is a huge advantage, and I've used that. That's kind of a sneak attack, though. I tend to just like this. Now, oh, another thing, the uh, GA1 coupler that you get with the Ricoh GR3 that is mandatory, in my opinion, to be able to hold the camera like this. This takes a, G, a GH3 instead of a GA1. So I, and they're a little more expensive, so I've had to order that off eBay, waiting for that to come in, and that'll protect it. But if I get dust on the sensor, and I think on one of these I found a spot on the sensor, I don't know if it was just from the lens or, or it's actually dust in the sensor. I could care less for 300 bucks. That's fine. If I'm spending a grand and there's dust on the sensor, I'm pissed. Okay, so I can buy two of these, almost three of these for the same price as a, as a 3X. And I don't like 40 millimeter when you're talking about uh, street photography. You'll see right here. I'll just show you right here. I took a couple pictures where it was... Uh, I, I, you know, this does have the 28 millimeter normal, then it's got the 35 millimeter crop and the 47 millimeter crop. I think the Ricoh GR3 is a 50, uh, but uh, I used all three of them and they work fantastic. I don't see a lot of grain, I don't see a lot of noise, and again, I'm not taking pretty pictures with this, although you can take a lot of pretty pictures with it. I'm taking mainly street photography and just some other things a lot that I wouldn't take if I were not making YouTube videos. So uh, some features are just there. I use them because I'm just trying to show you guys they're there. This one's pretty stripped down. This is the GR, not the GR2, not the GR3, and not to be confused with the Ricoh digital line. In Ricoh's infinite wisdom, they came out with a line of cameras, eight megapixel cameras. They called them the Ricoh digital, the Ricoh digital 2, the Ricoh digital 3. Then they came out with the Ricoh 1, GR1, Ricoh GR2, and Ricoh GR3, and then the 3X. Confuses the hell out of people. The difference is this says GR, the G digitals, the lesser quality digitals say GR digital on them. I don't know why they didn't change the line name, but that's Ricoh and they make no sense. But anyway, I love this camera. Now I love my Ricoh GR3. I'm not taking anything away from that. If you own a Ricoh GR3, be happy with it, except for the crappy plastic wheel on the back. And uh, if you are looking to buy a Ricoh GR3, knock yourself out. However, I like the fact that Ricoh got no money for this. They didn't get credit for this. Whoever bought this camera originally, Ricoh got credit for it, got paid for it. I bought it off eBay. Ricoh got nothing for it. Kind of makes me happy the way they screwed up the Ricoh GR3 and the 3X. I'm kind of happy that uh, uh, they're not getting any money out of this from me. So anyway, that's my take on the Ricoh GR versus the Ricoh GR3. I'm going to use the hell out of this camera, and then I'll pitch it and buy another one. Don't care. I'll never buy a Ricoh GR3 or a Ricoh GR3X again. Maybe a 4 if they get rid of the wheel, but I bet you they won't. I guarantee you they won't. You know why? Because if they get rid of the wheel, you don't need to send it in and get it fixed, and they don't make extra money. Because when you buy one of these, they do last forever, except the crap on the outside. The insides, top-notch, way to go, Rico. The outside, well, the Rico GR1 and GR2, you did a great job. When you got to the three, 
you must have fired the people who knew what they were doing and hired the minimum wage engineers or something. I don't know. Don't know why you changed it. But great camera. All right, guys, let me know what you think. We'll see you on the next one.